Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day and today we're going to do a, a little like pack with me type video. I want to show you the makeup that I have packed inside this makeup bag for a funeral that I have to go to this week. When you're seeing this video, you know, I'm trying to pre-film ahead since I'd be gone a little bit. So today that's what we're doing. I'm going to show you everything I packed up, why I picked these items. And of course, with airlines, I didn't know this. I haven't been on a plane in a really long time. The like carry-on bag restrictions have gotten a lot tighter. So my bag has to be like tiny, like small backpack sized. I can't bring like my thin beach bag. It's apparently that's too big. So I gotta like compress my makeup down as much as possible. And this was kind of hard for me. So I tried to make it all fit in this one Jeffree Star makeup bag that I've had forever because my Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star black pig bag that I've had forever is too big to fit in my bag. <laughs> okay, so obviously <laughs> my brushes and stuff didn't fit in the makeup bag. I have a little uh, spooky <laughs> Ziploc bag that I put my brushes and the mirror in. I'll show you what I picked out for brushes and mirror and everything too. But let's start with the main thing, which is the makeup bag itself. So my grandmother died. That's the funeral I'm going to. I don't want to be the jerk who doesn't show up to the funeral. Um, so, you know, going there. But the thing is, I have to be, I'm going to be gone for like two days. So I wanted to bring extra shoes with me. I want to bring like some heels for like the funeral or something. Like some cute little spiderweb heels to make my outfit look a little more elevated than my everyday clothes. Because I dress like every day's a funeral, honestly. So... I can't bring extra shoes though, so I'm gonna wear my everyday wedges, which are pretty busted up. They look cute from the front, but they look pretty busted from the back, but they're comfortable and I can wear them everywhere, like no matter what I'm doing. Um, so I feel like I'm just gonna wear those so I don't have to pack shoes. If I'm wearing them to the airport, I don't have to put shoes in my bag and that's gonna save me a lot of space in my small bag um, because I don't actually own a backpack apparently. <laughs> my husband gets like a small little uh, travel bag that we used when we went to Orlando last time for a night that I'm going to use and just try to make everything work in there. That's why this makeup bag had to be real compact. But yeah, going to a funeral and be gone for two days. So I don't like being away from the cats for so long. But I know Cortland's going to take care of them. And he also has to pick up. I, I didn't realize how early in the morning the flight to leave is. So I was like, oh, I need uh, this Bath and Body Works to release their full collection. I, I want this cute hand sanitizer holder to take with me. I didn't realize that it leaves so early, so now Cortland has to pick up my Bath and Body Works order. And I feel bad making him go across town for a little $7 hand sanitizer ghost. <laughs> but I already ordered it, so. He seems, he's a really good sport. He's always so sweet. But let's get into the makeup bag now. I'm sorry I'm ranting. So firstly, in the little, the little front section, I got a hair clip so I can pull my bangs up while I'm doing my face. Sometimes I forget when I like go somewhere that I have to do my makeup. <laughs> And then I don't have anything and I'm like doing this whole thing trying to get it to stay up while I'm doing my face and I just rather have a clippy with me you know other than that I got nail glue I also need to put the box of fake nails in my bag as well because if I pop a nail off probably gonna be at the airport I hate an airport it freaks me out something about an airport just seems so scary because there's people from everywhere just everywhere I don't know it's kind of like when you're in the checkout line of an Ikea it overwhelms me so I don't like going to an airport but you know, it's got to be done twice, <laughs> unfortunately. So I got nail glue because I figure if I'm going to lose a nail anywhere, it's me trying to rush out of the airport bathroom because I hate airport bathrooms. I'm probably going to pop a nail. So I brought the glue. <laughs> and then my bag, other than that, is pretty stuffed full. Firstly, the lashes. So I'm not going to wear makeup in uh, on the way there. I was hoping not to have to like put in my bag a box of lashes. But I'm not going to wear makeup at like 4 a.m. at an airport. It's not going to happen. So I got the Saucy Lashes from Batty B. These are over a year old. I've been wearing them like three times a week for over a year. I wore these to my wedding, you guys. These are old, <laughs> but they still haven't fallen apart on me. So we trust in the system here that they're still going to hang on. For mascara, I chose the Lash Princess False Lash Effect one from Essence because it's affordable. It's good. And all the other mascaras that I've tried recently, I just feel like are a little more dry. So I wanted that one that gets my lashes really black and my bottom lashes looking really nice eyeliners I, I got a couple i don't know why i needed multiple okay so i brought the cella dual ended eyeliner one's blue one's black i don't use the blue side i just use the black side but it's a good liquid liner but it's starting to dry out and this one's kind of dried out too so i'm just bringing two kind of dried out ones 
hoping that it's enough to like fill in where my lash stops right here <sighs> yeah because i don't have any good liners right now and i don't have time to go to ulta you know i got a lot of work to do today to like work ahead so i don't have time to go pick up a new eyeliner so we're gonna just bring both of these with us since it doesn't take up too much space and hope that it's enough to like that little fill in spot where your lashes stop oh i also am bringing the nyx epic wear white eyeliner just for a little highlight in the inner corner especially since i don't know how much sleep i'm going to be getting you know like between trying to make flights and everything but if you get somewhere at like early morning hours you can't check into a hotel so i think i'm just gonna be up from like 1 a.m till the next night uh so i'm gonna need a little bit of highlight in my face i'm gonna need a little bit of brightening in the inner corners i'm probably be exhausted Next up, the palette that I chose for my eyebrows because I use eyeshadow for my eyebrows. It's just easier. It feels stupid to carry a whole palette for your eyebrows, but this one's the small compact one that has a black in it for me, and I use it every day for my eyebrows, except for today, which I use a different palette for. I just want to try a different palette for my eyebrows, and it looks okay, but this is a bigger palette. So we have Weirdo from Jeffree Star. I figured I could use the white to set underneath of my brow bone area, and then the black for my brows. I'm not actually going to use the actual shadows in here. They're a little too dramatic for christian funeral in virginia you know what i'm saying it's just <laughs> i don't want to be too bold but the eyeshadow that i did choose is the kaleidos like smoky nostalgia there's two of these there's like a gray and black one and i chose more of the neutral one just a small compact easy to use palette i thought about naked foxy as well um but this one i just think has a good shimmer in it i could darken up my outer corner with this base you know my crease out with these Super easy, super compact, and it has a little mirror on it too, so I can do my eyeshadow. This is a really good palette that I think is going to be great for traveling. For highlighter, I chose the Give Me Glow Falling Glow. I want to use Jeffree Star Eyes Cold. It's a little bigger. I wanted to use Ofra's Pillow Talker Glaze Donut, but I depotted them in a big palette, so they're not great for travel. This one, the Falling Glow, I will need to make sure I set my face a lot so I don't lose highlighter throughout the day. You're really going to set it. It's more of a powdery, flakier highlighter. But it is so bomb in pigmentation. I can also use it at highlight in the inner corner. Again, two highlights in the inner corner. Hopefully I look awake. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is going to be like super brightening, you know. And it's compact and small. And it's cardboard, so I'm not like I'm going to break the packaging. It really works out. I really like the highlighter. But I usually just use it for my inner corner. I don't use it for my face as much. I love the over one so much. But again, too big of packaging. Now, for setting powder, this was the hardest thing. I was like, oh my god, I need to find time to go to Ulta before I leave to get a mini setting powder but then I just said I will suck it up and have a little extra makeup on the normal and use a pressed powder foundation situation so I'm going to use the pretty fresh from Colourpop fair one pressed powder I'm just going to dip my sponge directly in there pack it up under eyes use a powder brush and just apply this powder all over my face on top of my foundation as my setting powder it's going to leave me a little extra coverage you're not really going to see my real skin through it's going to be a very full coverage day or two days but bringing a loose setting powder there's restrictions on how much powder and how much makeup product you can have i think it's like three ounces and i think my anastasia powder that i have is four ounces or something i don't know it's just too much it's too much powder i don't want to throw it away at the airport so i gotta bring the least amount of powder possible and the least amount of liquid possible too they have restrictions on that but thankfully most foundations are one fluid ounce so let's talk about the foundation i chose i chose the urban decay all nighter because I need this to last all day, all night, and so forth. So, it's just, I have this much left in here. I'm surprised this lasted this long, honestly. This is like my second, I think it's my second one that I bought of this. I love it. The issue is, with the cap on, it's too tall to sit in my Alex drawer organizer that I have. And then, when I moved, because I had the cap off and I had it in the back of a drawer, I think it might have fallen out of the back of a drawer. Because I can't find the lid to this. So, let's just hope it doesn't accidentally make a mess somehow. But I don't i don't know it might get hot and leak but if it does so be it you know i'll have to clean up everything but i want this foundation because i know it's gonna last all day for contour this was hard i wanted to use the charlotte tilbury one but the packaging is a little heavier and the contour is almost dead in there because i've used it to death so i chose the one size beauty little bronzer trio because the darkest shade in here let me show you the darkest shade in here the bottom shade <laughs> hi boo the darkest shade down here is good to hide my double chin so that's why i chose that one these two top shades i use for my contour 
you know, a little bit on the sides of my nose, but this shade I can use to darken up under my chin and make my double chin go away, you know? When you don't see people in like a decade, they probably think you're still really skinny and I'm just not. It's what it is. Not that I care what other people think because, you know, I look like this. For blush, I chose Fetish from Urban Decay because it's cute, subtle, not too overly blushy, and it's tiny. Look how tiny. It's so cute. And I also really like this color. I was going to use the Kim Chi Heart Compact blush that has two shades in it, but I thought that was a little bulkier, so why not go with something smaller? Okay. I do have this. It has some left, so I'm going to try to finish this up on the trip to All Nighter Urban Decay setting spray because it's the best setting spray. I need this face to lock down from like... Can I do my face on the plane? Is that a thing or is that weird? Since it's in my carry-on? I was thinking about doing my makeup on the flight there early in the morning so I don't have to do it in like a car or something. Because um, I don't know what I'm doing that first day since the funeral's the next day. So I'm going to have to need this lockdown all day on Wednesday and then all day on Thursday as well. So I need the all-nighter. <laughs> I'm just justifying everything. Okay, let me grab everything except for the skincare. We'll do the skincare last before the brushes. For lip products, I chose two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I chose Hidden Hills and Tea Bag. More of a regular, typical, not gonna stand out nude and a little bit of a darker nude. I thought the regular, not stand out nude could be good for the funeral. And then the more darker one could be the day before where I'm doing who knows what that day. So. I figured I would do that. I also have the Duo Quick Dry Black Lash Glue. This stuff stinks. It's very sticky. It's messy. If you get it anywhere on your lid that's not supposed to be, it's a mess. However, it's a sturdy, strong lash glue and I really needed one. And then a uh, Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner because it's my favorite nude eyeliner. It lasts in my waterline all day and it's my favorite. For primer, I was going to use the one size beauty one, but that's a little big for my bag. So I have this sample I got in like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. I think it might've been an Ipsy mini bag this month. I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Let's hope my skin doesn't have a bad reaction to this because I don't know how my skin does with this product. I'm not familiar with it, but we're hoping it's a good primer for me. <laughs> for lip balm, I chose the Beekman 1802 just because it's small, compact, easy to use. And I didn't want something that's more of a shiny lip balm because it's more likely to melt for concealer i chose the kvd good apple because it's small compact and my shape tape is almost empty <laughs> and then again liquid eyeshadow for like right under here to make like a little brighter a little bit sparkle more sparkle i chose frozen heart from sistar i thought about disco queen from elf because it's a little bit more compact this just has a little bit more of a impact so that's what i'm choosing for this one now for skincare I need to get like a little dollar pack of makeup wipes. I might be able to buy one at the airport. I don't know. But I don't have any makeup wipes on me yet. Because I only have like the big boxes, you know, and I can't really bring that. So for concealer, I mean not concealer, for cleanser, I'm using this Bad Habit. You can't wash away those 2 a.m. texts, but you should still wash your face. Wake Things Up Matcha and Mint Morning Cleanser. It's the only mini cleanser that I could find. <laughs> Again, from a subscription box. But if I'm only using it for like one night, I think it'd be fine. And then also I have this mini 4th Ray Beauty Colourpop situation of the Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. I've used this a ton, I really like it, and I have about two or three days worth left in here. So I figured that was probably perfect to take with me because it's small, compact, and I need a moisturizer. Next up in this spooky Ziploc bag, because I figured if any time was the time to use the spooky Ziploc bags that you've been hoarding for three years, it's probably when you travel, since I don't travel ever. So I'm bringing the Black Cat... Uh, black flame candle hocus pocus themed mirror from color pop and then for brushes oh i'm using a nude sponge too from amazon <laughs> it's clean it's just nude colored so i'm going to use two brushes that are in well actually i'm using yeah three brushes that are in my sigma brush set so i have my contour brush here super cute this is from a different collection and then also i have this blending brush and this shader brush both together but very similar to the ones from my collection. And then I also have this beautiful highlighting brush, a little small smudgy one for my liquid eyeshadow situation underneath, this brow brush because the only one I could find that was clean, <laughs> and then a regular powder one. This one's from Danielle that I got from TJ Maxx literally like six years ago. But this, she's holding strong. Like she's a sturdy girl for me. I've washed her a hundred times. 
And then also I have the Sigma one, uh, I almost said wonder, powder and blush little pink one here for my cheek situation. So yeah, those are my brushes. That's also my makeup bag. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will be back on schedule soon because I miss having a regular schedule. Like between having the Rona and missing my original flight to go visit someone before they died because I had Rona too bad to even move my body and even get up to pee sometimes to now having to go to a funeral and being gone for longer than I expected. My schedule is all over the place, you know, and I'm still trying to get to 10K on TikTok. I only, I have 9,000 followers now. I'm only a thousand away. So hopefully that'll work out for me soon. But this, this month in general has just been a whirlwind of not my normal scheduled things. And I'm kind of like a cat where I need scheduled routine. So everything feels weird for me lately, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Have a great and safe day there wherever you are. Bye guys.